any skateboarder or bike rider learning any new trick is falling over and over and over again. You're looking at hundreds and hundreds of crashes. After every one of those crashes, you still have to get up and find the focus and the drive to be like, what do I need to do differently? How am I gonna fix this? Don't be a wuss, because you're probably gonna fall again. Giving up in that sense when we're trying to learn something isn't an option. All right. Bye, Lucy. My dad bought me my first BMX bike when I was seven. I was actually on my seventh birthday. It was an old 70s Mongoose Moto mag, which probably weighed almost about as much as I did at the time. As, as soon as I was able to pedal on my own, that was the end of it. I, I just kind of fell in love with it right from the beginning. I come here a little bit, but for how close it is to my house, I should be, I should be here a lot more. It's not a small skate park by any means. <laughs> it's probably the biggest, one with the deepest bowls, you know, in Austin. So you kind of have to be in the mood to ride here. There was something about me just being able to do whatever I wanted riding. You know, there was no right or wrong way to do it. I, I could kind of just figure all these things out by myself. If you suck, nobody else is going to make you be better. It's, it's up to you. I'm not necessarily the type of rider who does a whole lot of tricks, but it doesn't mean that I don't like to do or try things that are really hard for me. I'm not really too concerned with trying to learn the newest, flashiest trick that's getting the best scores at a contest. <sighs> <sighs> This being my eighth X Games, I'm pretty used to the whole TV show side of it with all the cameras everywhere and the crowds. So I'm not really nervous about anything like that, but I'm really excited that, you know, a good percentage of the crowd is going to be local. <laughs> I'm born and raised here. I'm going to be the only athlete from Austin that's going to be competing. And I just hope people are stoked that's about good. that. You feel like it's stretching the right stuff? Yeah. So I'm happy that it doesn't feel sore from riding the other day. It's not easy to, to become good at anything. And it's not, you don't do it because you want to be good at it. You do it because you love it. I would be doing this either way whether I was making a living off of it or not, I would still probably ride just as much. That's the attitude that everybody should have about it. It's something that you love to do, that you're, you're, you're lucky enough to do for a living. And it should never be treated any other way besides that. <laughs>